Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from isdramation.com and today in this video we'll be talking about how we can run a behavioral driven development or otherwise called as a BDD test using Playwright MCP server and Cursor IDE. So if you have seen my other videos earlier, we talked about the Playwright MCP server quite a lot like how we can run the, uh, the, the test using Playwright MCP server like UI test, API test and also how you can capture network logs and things and also we saw how we can use the Playwright MCP server along with the Cursor IDE. So this IDE that you are seeing over here is the cursor IDE as you can see over here it has got all the features that you can use uh, to to perform or use the MCP server uh, clients like the the one that we already saw which was the uh, using database testing as well as the uh, UI testing you can do both of them together uh, using this uh, this cursor IDE and the same thing we are gonna go a bit further to leverage the power of the BDD based test using the playwright uh, MCP server along with the uh, with the cursor IDE. So in order to do that, we are going to make use of our uh, Playwright MCP server. So this is the Playwright MCP server as you can see over here. And you can also read more about the Playwright MCP server with the documentation that you have got over here. So you can just go ahead uh, and you can see what are the details that you can learn about the Playwright MCP server, like how you can install it uh, and also how you can use the different tools that Playwright MCP server has got, the console logs and also the API testing features and stuff. And we are going to see how we can achieve everything over here in this particular uh, video. So for that, I'm going to go and I'm going to open the cursor IDE. So you need to ensure that you have the cursor IDE installed and I have already installed it. That's the reason why I'm just going to open it over here. I have also set up in the cursor IDE uh, the uh, the MCP server, the Playlight MCP server, as you can see over here. I already spoke about how you can configure the Playlight MCP server earlier. All you have to do is just use the name that whatever name that you like, but on the command, you just have to use npx hyphen y and the uh, at exit automation slash Playwright MCP server. And this information, I actually got it from the uh, installation of the Playwright MCP server details that you can see over here. This is the exact command that we gotta be using. So npx hyphen y and at exit automation slash Playwright MCP server, you can get in there. And once you have this uh, set up, the Playwright MCP server is gonna go uh, and have a list all the tools for you as you can see over here. And these are the tools that we are gonna be using for our automation testing. And now I'm gonna go and write a uh, features over here. So I'm gonna say features. See that this is pretty much exactly the PDD scenario that I'm trying to write over here. And I'm gonna say login.feature. So this is basically a simple cucumber test that I'm gonna write. So I'm gonna write a, a feature here as login test. Uh, and I'm gonna say scenario is to perform uh, login operation in the EA app uh, website. Uh, and over here, I'm gonna say given I navigate to EA, yeah, that's the page. Oh, sorry, EA app, EA app dot uh, dot com page. Uh, and I click the uh, login button and I enter the admin as username and password as password and I click the login button. Uh, then I should see the uh, employee uh, employee list page, uh, list page probably menu. So that is the login operation that I'm gonna be doing over here. So basically if you've never seen the EA app website before, you just have to go to this eaapp.swami.com as you can see over here. I'm gonna click this login link and then I'm gonna enter the username as admin and password as password. And once I hit login, I'm gonna see this employee uh, lists page, or maybe I can just say employee details page because that is the one that is appearing uh, once the login operation is done. So I'm gonna say employee uh, details menu, right? So this is the thing that I wanted to test this time. And usually, what we do while we write the BDD scenario is that we try to implement these step definitions of these uh, BDD scenarios. Uh, and then we also need to uh, create a class file. We need to install the Cucumber, uh, I mean, Cucumber library. And also we need to install the uh, Selenium library or Playwright library. And then we also need to write quite a lot of different operation, right? Right. So all these things are right now gone. I mean, you don't have to write even a single line of code. All you have to do is just define the, uh, the scenario over here. And then you can just uh, in 
the in the chat on the agent chat window as you can see over here on the cursor you can just select the uh, the model that you wanted to use let's say cloud 3.7 or 3.5 whatever the model that you wanted to use uh, and choose this um, this file that you wanted to execute and now over here i'm just going to give this particular instruction like read the file instruction and execute them using the mcp server so basically what i'm going to say is in this particular chat window all you have to tell this particular uh, the agent of the cursor is that go and read this particular feature file and try to execute the MCP server. And the MCP server is nothing but the MCP server that we have configured in the cursor settings over here in the MCP, as you can see, the Playwright MCP server. I'm not really telling any MCP server to use like Playwright MCP server, but I'm just saying explicitly that use MCP server. So whichever MCP server can take this action can start executing it from there. And now once I hit this send button, you will notice that the agent over here can read it like what is this particular feature file is all about. Now it's reading that and it's also telling me that this is a behavioral driven development test that it has to execute. Uh, but it is uh, mostly executed using the Cucumber uh, framework. But now because we have specified the, um, the MCP tool, uh, it is now using the Playwright MCP server to execute this operation for us. And look at that. Now it is doing all the operations that we have mentioned uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the feature file, and then it is executing them for us over here, which is quite amazing, right? Like it is doing all these operation of the login operation and performing a click operation and navigating, taking a screenshot, whatnot. Uh, and you can see that it's all just happening for us over here. And now the test has been executed successfully. Uh, so I can now say the browser is open. Now I can just say, uh, close the uh, browser. And if I hit enter, you will notice that it's gonna go and invoke the playwright uh, close uh, action as well. And then it has closed the browser for us, which is quite amazing. So now that you have seen the login operation, now I'm gonna show you the network console log operation. So all you have to do is just put this uh, network console uh, dot feature over here and then I'm gonna write a simple feature file over here the network console uh, and I'm not gonna do to perform a uh, so I'm gonna write the scenario over here it's just uh, to perform a network console uh, operation so given I navigate to probably um, to amazon uh, dot com website and um, I click the all menu from the Amazon uh, website or maybe and I handle if there is any pop-ups like that and I click the all menu from the Amazon website and I check uh, or and I read the uh, network uh, console logs when I see any error in the network console log uh, then I print them out and I close the browser. So this is what I wanted to really perform the action over there. I'm sure that in the, in the amazon.com website, there are gonna be quite a lot of different uh, console logs uh, happens to appear. So we are gonna see how that can be uh, executed over here. So I'm gonna execute this particular code and see what is gonna basically happen. So for doing that, I'm gonna choose the network console log over here. And if you just go to the uh, command that we use, read the file and execute it using the MCP server. So I'm gonna use the same command over here as well. And now I'm gonna run this code and see what is gonna basically happen. So this is the command that I'm gonna give. And you can see that the moment I do it, uh, it is going to invoke the Playwright MCP server uh, for the navigate and it is opening the um, the amazon.com website and it is going to take the screenshot for me every single operation uh, and then it is going to check for any uh, common pop-ups to exist. Uh, looks like there is one. So it is going to open the Playwright Evaluate uh, and then it is going to try to fix the pop-up window uh, and let's try to see if it can uh, click the all menu there we go so now it's gonna click the all menu there we go it has clicked that uh, and now it should take the screenshot and it should get the console log if there is any from this particular website and I'm sure there are going to be some console log for the errors you see that it has got 10 errors of some errors uh, in the particular website and also it's checking if there is any warning logs and it has got some warning logs as well as you can see oh there is no warning logs which is great so it has got some errors in the uh, in the browser uh, console log over there. So all these logs are now being told, I mean, showed over here for us. And because we have got some errors, so it's gonna close the browser. 
and now it is going to show us the summary of what are the errors that it has found so it has found a video play, uh, player media format issue a dns resolution failure and there is a 404 resource not found error and then it has closed the browser and with this you can see that this particular playwright mcp server could find an issue if there is any uh, and also it is it's going uh, it can show us all the details for us over here and the good thing is we have not written even a single line of code. We can write all our prompts uh, in, the, uh, in the feature file and we can let the Playwright MCP server to take care of all the, um, all the heavy lifting for us. And now we don't even have to write even a single line of code to perform all these operations. That's it guys, once again, this is the future of automation of like how you can run and test our application and see how things work using the powerful Playwright MCP server. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. It will be really, really helpful. Catch you in the next one.